the Wyoming game, like you were saying before. It was the, uh, I think I, had, I got an interception already, two maybe, and it was the third one. And uh, we were in the man-to-man, -man, and uh, I, was playing, I was playing man-to-man -man on the slot, and when he, uh, he tried to, I guess, give me an outside move, and he, he made me jump outside, so when he came back in, I was actually beat by a couple seconds, by a couple steps. So um, I, I should, uh, we were taught, you know, just to stay and look at the receiver if you're beat, to stay at him, but something told me to turn around. And when I turned around, the ball was coming. So I just reached up with uh, my right hand and it just kind of stuck to my hand. So I just pulled it in and Kane gave me a good block. Ron Jones, when he was playing, nice block. And uh, a couple people on the D-line gave me some nice, nice blocks. All I had to do was just run against Oregon. Um, it was, uh, I forget which, what, what defense we were in, but somehow I had the tight end. And he stayed in the block. And then so I backed up. And when I backed up, he shot out to the flat. And uh, Graziani was scrambling. So he, he looked like he was open. So he threw it to the tight end on the sideline. And I just happened to be running full speed at the time. And then he caught it, it turned around. I just put my shoulder down and closed my eyes and just hoped for the best. And when I uh, opened my eyes, he was laying down on his back and I was laying on my side and I couldn't feel my left shoulder. But I heard the crowd just go, yeah. And so I stood up and my, my boys came in and grabbed me. I just threw my arms up and, and I was like, oh, ouch. So I put my arm back down and just kind of try to throw it, shake it off, shake it off until blood started moving again. <laughs> was about to get ran out of OSU because I had so many of them. I'll be graduating in spring and uh, communications. If this football thing doesn't work out, then uh, I would hope to be working a nice, just a nice job somewhere, you know, where I have to go. If I have to sit behind a desk, then I have to sit behind a desk, you know, that. But I would like to do something that I use my hands, you know, I'm on working with children or something like that. And uh, telling them my experience and why I didn't drink while I was in college and why I didn't do all the other stuff while I was here. Put together. And, you know, he used to do stuff. <laughs> or I'd be watching TV or something, he'd shoot across the TV naked, go and get a drink of water, come back and stand in front of the TV and just stare at me, you know, like, man, get out the way. I, what do I look at you for? Move. I know what the big picture is, and that's me succeeding in, in life after I graduate, you know, me going through uh, fall camp, me going through winter conditions, me going through uh, seasons, the, uh, the losses, you know, with, it's just, it's what this is all about. Because I mean, going through all of that makes you a, a man, in a sense, you know, and, uh, and I wasn't a man when I, when I got here, and I would, I would hope I am now, you know, from, from all the things that I've been through, and I still have a lot more to learn.